Muscle weakness, has joint pain, um, it has low mood, stomach issues, okay, a lot of acid buildup, and loss of collagen, and muscle uh, tendon injury. It gets injured a lot, okay? So I want to explain to you how it's all interconnected, okay? For the muscle weakness, this is adrenal issue, okay? It's a nervous system issue. Adrenal is a nervous system. For the uh, joint pain, it's systemic acidosis. It involves your kidneys, adrenals, and limb system, okay? The um, low mood as your adrenals. Adre adrenals are the emotional gland. You have weak adrenals. Stomach issues, interstitial lymphatic congestion, okay? Which means that your limb system is not moving properly in the gut wall, which means it's systemic. And lots of collagen. Acids, okay, acids will, will destroy uh, collagen. So when your body's acidic, the acids will use um, uh, the, the, the phosphorus or any kind of uh, calcium, any kind of alkaline uh, material in bone or tissue um, to, 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 to break down acids or to neutralize the acids, okay? It will use, um, for loss of collagen, the body will um, use, use uh, um, for the loss of collagen, uh, when the body's acidic, the body will leach off calcium uh, and any other um, alkaline material from bone to neutralize metabolic waste, okay? And that's why you have collagen issues, okay? So, but it's also a parathyroid weakness, which means that your parathyroid gland is weak. It's not making use of calcium. That's the gland that makes use of calcium is parathyroid. So essentially, all your endocrine glands are weak. Muscle um, tendon injury. Parathyroid is weak. You're not making use of calcium, and the acidity is preventing you from recovering or healing properly, okay? So... Remember that the muscle fatigue in general, when you have muscle weakness, muscle fatigue, fatigue okay, this is acids. Acids uh, causes mucus, single mucus and acids affecting the adrenals, okay? And this adrenals, uh, um, remember, it's part of the autonomic nervous system, okay? The autonomic nervous system. And it's, it's, it's also connected to the cerebellum, the back of the head, and connected to the uh, solar plexus, okay? These are the nerve centers. And when you have mucus congestion there, you can't work properly, your nervous system goes weak, you have the muscle um, um, fatigue or muscle weakness, okay? So, we gotta fix the adrenals, definitely. We gotta uh, clean the, the, the gut, we gotta clean the, the head of mucus, okay? This means clean the sinuses. Anything you can do to clean the sinuses, clean your ears, clean your eyes, use eye washes, do neuro lymphatic massages in the back of the head, the, uh, the upper back, um, chew horseradish root, you want to. Um, use a nutty pot of eucalyptus oil to break down the mucus, anything, you can do that. Clean the gut because the head sits on the gut. If you, if, if you can't, um, the GI tract is congested with uh, acids and mucus, um, you, you can't drain acids out properly and you have issues. Okay, but all this is a lymphatic congestion due to weak kidney filtration. Okay, very, very simple. You're not filtering metabolic waste out of the body. This waste is backing up to the lymph system, affecting tissue, organ and glands, creating excess mucus. Okay. And muscle tendon injury is a parathyroid. Again, mucus and acids affecting it. So we got to fix it, okay? So that's how we fix it. We change the diet, 100% fruit diet. Don't have any question here, okay? Because this is, this is bad. And you need the, the fruits for, because they're, they're high energy, high electric. They spark the nervous system up, okay? You cannot use veggies for this one here, for nervous system issues. So I, I would um, be on an adrenal glandular, perhaps, because it's very weak. So adrenal glandular for a month or two. I'll use adrenal herbs. I would um, use um, kidney herbs, maybe two different kidney herbs, tincture and tea. Use a parathyroid um, uh, glandular and, a para and endocrine herbs to address all the major endocrine glands. I would use neurological one tincture to, to strengthen it. It has herbs that strengthen the nerves and strengthens the um, uh, blood flow to the head region as well. Okay, And I'll use the bowel strength tincture because you need to move your bowels properly. You gotta clean the bowels. So bowel strength tincture has herbs like um, Cas Cascara Sagrada, and gentian root and everything to help heal the, uh, the gut and strengthen the gut. And remember that, that, that also the adrenals control bowel movement, okay, through peristalsis. So this is what I do. And I would use green drinks occasionally. So I can put in some calcium, extra calcium, extra um, um, vitamins in, in, the, in the body whilst I'm um, fixing all the glands. And this is how you detox, 100% fruit diet and the herbs. 